to the rim. Sarha. Nice. On top of another three. How about you now? A statement again by Eastern Florida. Are you ready for a Citrus Conference Hump Day Hoops double header? We certainly are. Eastern Florida State set to take on Daytona State College. We welcome you inside the Titan Fieldhouse as the Titans, the best teams in the state, number six in the nation, about to take on their rivals from Daytona State alongside Mark Moses. I'm Jeff Radcliffe. Thank you so much for joining us for Titans basketball. Boy, this team just gets better and better and better. 21 straight in a row. They started the season one and three, Jeff, and it's just been death taxes and winning basketball uh, around that's here. Right. That's what it feels the like. The certainties in life. Yeah, 17 and 0 in the Citrus Conference. They've already clinched. Mm -hmm. So they're just playing out the string. This is the first of four to close the season. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I am excited about today. I want to see this team play great basketball. I want them to finish strong. And hopefully we get that, that victory tonight if you're using Florida. Let's pause now for the national anthem here at the Titan Fieldhouse. All right, let's introduce you to the principal combatants in this Citrus Conference matchup. Third time these two teams have met. Titans uh, took the first and the second. Uh, Daytona State, a very uh, a lineup with uh, Kendall Moxie, Bella Weary, Nia Brown, Ava Bradshaw, Tazia Johnson. The, the head coach, Tron Griffin, draws a lot from the state of Florida. You'll see some, some local players on that lineup. Eastern Florida going to counter with a bit of a changeup from MJ Baker. Yeah, Amelia Hassett, of course, uh, one of the top players in the nation. She'll be in there. Other four starters getting some of the normal reserves, some starting minutes to get them ready for the long run through the state tournament and the national tournament. Ezra Sen, Martina Galvos Naro, Andrea Chiquemba going to be in there. Also, Rosa Redondo Cerebus. As we're meeting them now through the voice of Mike Parsons. And got Amelia Hassett, who on our broad, last broadcast committed to Virginia Tech. We're going to see her again, number one in the state in rebounding, number three in scoring. She is as good as advertised. Yeah, 19.9 points per game, 13.1 rebounds per game. Uh, she is worth the price of admission and a very nice lady as well. Especially when we interviewed her, she announced she's going to Virginia Tech like you're saying. This lady gets buckets and rebounds. It's the most consistent thing here in Brevard County outside of my show. That's what it is. <laughs> That's a tough follow. 19 and a half points a game for Hassett. You saw the name uh, Kendall Moxie pop up on the screen. That's going to be the person charged with trying to stop her. She's quite a good player in her own right. His average double figures out of Centerville, Maryland. Season high, 25 points in the last meeting against Eastern Florida. Back at the first meeting of the season on the 9th of December. She's a player that has four and a half blocks per game, eight rebounds per 
game. So she draws the, the tough card, but she's plenty capable of getting her own as well. Yeah, and we were looking at the stats. You look at Daytona, three players average in double figures. And it, just watching, you know, pregame warm-ups, this team can shoot, right? They got some height. This is going to be an interesting matchup tonight between Daytona and Eastern Florida. Titans line up all international these, uh, this uh, afternoon. Sen from Turkey, Gavos Naro from Spain. Same goes for Ro Rosa Redondo Cerebus. Uh, Chiquemba from Portugal and Hassett from <laughs> Down Under. I thought okay. I was unique coming from Illinois, but like this is unbelievable, yeah. man. It really yeah, is. I was born in Ohio. Not very exciting <laughs> for us, yeah? And we're off. Titans control the first. Again, different starting lineup. And can't get the first bucket to go. Titans will go back defensively. Carrying the ball is Ava Bradshaw out of Oviedo, right down the road, right down the 528. Went to Masters Academy. She handles the ball now. Started the last two games for head coach Tron Griffin. There's our first look at Moxie. Turnaround Ooh. shot is good, and the Falcons are on top. A lot of confidence in that shot as well. I'm going to be here all night taking that 10-footer. Yeah, Moxie's 6'4". She can certainly bang with Hassett. Little pick and pop down low for Chiquimba. Turns around and gets it the roll. We're tied. Friendly roll. I like it. going. First look at Bella Weary leads them in scoring at 15 points per game. She will be the defensive mark, I am certain, for MJ Baker. Eight to shoot. This is Weary. Tries Quite to force deep. it into Moxie. And a loose ball. And it'll be Titans basketball on the foul. Jeff, that was great defense where it looked like Daytona, they had all this energy, we're gonna push it, and all of a sudden, all the windows closed on Daytona. Nothing was open, turnover early. Oh, a half-hearted press here from Daytona State, an athletic program that's trying to step up and match Eastern Florida step for step in just about every sport. It is a program that really has put some interest and emphasis on athletics the last decade. Definitely seen that on the men's side. Whoa. That shot won't fall for the Titans. So Redondo Cerebus denied. Quickly to Johnson. On the wing, it's Weary. Off glass and good for Nia Brown. Averaging 8.6 out of Middleburg. Yeah. Orange Park High School product. Visitors have the lead. A lot better than last week when we had to skate Titans and Titans and Titans because both teams were the Titans, right? Yeah, this is going to be a lot easier. Can, yeah. We can go Falcons. Falcons trying to stop that. Able to just push Chiquimba off the line. And see, they're pushing it, Jeff. They're not going to wait around for Eastern Florida. Trying to take it right to Travel. them. The walk brings it back to Eastern Florida. A lot of times you see when we saw St. Pete last week, they tried to slow the game down mm -hmm. and l minimize the number of possessions. Well, the Tona State is not a team that's going to back down. Well, the question is still, you got this is going to be, hey, all right, four minute stretch. All right, what's this going to be like? Because it's going to take 40 minutes to beat Eastern Florida. Remember, Hassett, one of the best three point shooters in the state, as a, as a post player. That forces the defense, the defensive post player to guard her outside. Creates a big mismatch. That one is no good. Titans still down by two. Weary. Bella down the baseline and pushed out. But lost hand handle in the basketball. Another turnover by Daytona. And here's the thing to remember, it's early. We're getting subs in, Jeff. Uh, Eastern Florida starts their star and then four reserves. Now they're going to bring in some of these starters. Trying to change things. Ashley Battle comes in now for the Titans, one of those aforementioned. Freshman out of Sunrise will run the show here with the Titans down two. It will be Hassett, not that time. Big rebound for the Falcons coming out of there. Nia Brown inside to Moxie. Working around the perimeter. Baseline three is Whoa. good. 
knocking it down, Tasia Johnson. Well, you can see so far, he's from Florida. They're double teaming Moxie and leaving other people open, and Daytona's made them pay. Set the outset, this won't be a, a cakewalk tonight, for sure. Now oh. ah, the backdoor feed to Hassett. Hassett has her first two. Titans are on the now two field goals. They trail 7-4. Daytona's bench thought there was a travel on that. Wasn't called. Hassett gets her first shot. Not Hassett getting her hands in there to steal it away. Now she's doubled and jump ball. Get tied up. And alternating possession gives it back to the Falcons. I like Hassett showing off defense. Her arms are so long. Yeah, I'll just put my hand up, right. see if I can steal it. Right. Three-point advantage here for Daytona. Bradshaw's got it. Working down to Moxie. A lot of attention from Hassett. Kick out to Brown. Is she all right? Just inside the three, and yeah, battle comes up a little lame. Might have stepped on a foot. And immediately off the bench comes Redondo, uh, Redondo Cerebas. That was not good, Jeff. So it's just a little stinger. You got to walk it off. You gotta, it's early, but he knew that was serious. Press again here. And they back out. Annalie Ball, Redondo Cerebas. Kulakovska, first look at the Latvia. Losing the left handle there was Reed. Help her out. Yeah, we will stay with Eastern Florida, but being hassled. What do we got, 10 seconds on the clock here? Got to be ready. Fernando Cerebus, seven to shoot. Reith was calling for it. Said he'll go to Hassett for three to shoot. Well, Take Moxie off the dribble, draw the foul. As shot clock expires. Foul before it, though. It's a beautiful move going to the rim. I, and you can see that's why Virginia Tech is very excited about bringing this young lady there to Blacksburg. I mean, goes to the three, pump fake, go to your right. I like it going right to the lane. It's the first. Amelia leads the team. 84% free throw shooter. She's 42% from beyond the arc as a three-point shooter. Talk about a weapon at every level. She's 6'3". Titans have tightened it up. One of two there from Hassett. I believe that's her first, just her second free throw miss. It was 31 of 32 coming in. In the last stretch of games. So you just saw something rare. A lot of energy being expended here by Daytona here in this first quarter. They continue to lead by two. Among the three, shot up, no good. Has it the rebound. And she's bringing it up, Jeff. Right. Shot does not go. Oh, he clean. The follow back from Reef gets blocked. This is a fantastic. Fantastic start out. by Daytona. Fantastic. Look at this. Being patient and getting that clean. That clean block for Moxie. Does have four and a half of them per game, as we mentioned. And Daytona State has a 7-5 advantage here. Tron Griffin now in his third season, former athletic director at Atlantic High School up in Port Orange. He was an assistant at Stetson when they went to the WNIT. Coach at Georgia State, Prairie View A&M. As a player, played football and basketball at Bethune-Cookman. So good fit in Daytona Beach for sure the, for the Jacksonville native. And he's really building this program now in his third season. You're absolutely right. And he's got to be very happy with the start of this game where you're up two points. And I'm sorry, I've seen Eastern Florida play this whole season. This might be one of their slowest starts to a game I've seen. And essentially, you've won 21 in a row. Uh, you got to play better than this. Yeah. The rest of the way, you've, you've already won the conference. You're looking ahead to bigger things. That's when the banana peel st can step in, right? You got to find ways to, to motivate on different nights if you're MJ Baker. But that's something you, you learn as a team to be the favorite and how to play as a favorite. 
which they've done admirably all season. You mentioned it, right? They haven't lost since early in the season when they were down a couple of key players. Have not been touched in conference. That one off the mark. Hashett trying to track down the loose ball right along the sideline, able to do so. Letting it fly from long yeah. distance. Hashett, her first three, six points now for Amelia. Oh, could not handle it. it was a nice looking pass. A little too tall for Alicia Span. Just going back to Amelia, I mean, you think about the rebound she got where she went out to the three point line to go get it, then pass it, and then they came back to her. You reward her for her hard work. That's team basketball, and this is, I'm sorry, the best player in the state of Florida. Yes. I, I just unbelievable. You know, Kenny Baker of the Hokies watching this, like, He's already got like a top six recruiting class, and then he brings in from the Juco ranks one of the best players. Pass it. Not troubled at all. She'll shoot another. Back to back replays for Eastern Florida by the same player. I like this. This is my house. I know where to go. Put in the rim and score. Follow women's college basketball. Elizabeth Kitley will probably be moving on this year. The team that made the final four last year out of the ACC. Georgia Amor, fellow Australian native like Hassett. Maybe she'll come back. One of the best shooters next to, next to Caitlin Clark. Stepped yes. out. Titans love the basketball. They trail by four. That's another sloppy turnover by Daytona. I hate to say it, but it is. You look at this game so far. Hey, we're in this. We got to cut down those turnovers. Quickly to Reef. Turned over. Just a little fast and loose here. And Daytona's trying to pounce. What Three minutes call? to go here in this first quarter. Well, Battle comes back into the game and then just having problems there on defense, had to go with the foul. Good first quarter so far. All right, Falcons to inbound here. Taja Johnson. Send it all the way to the top of the key. Picked up by Brown. Down low scoop. Go high off the glass, does not fall. Battle back in there, that's good to see. On the left-hand dribble, pops it up. Can't get it to go. Loose ball grabbed by Span one more time. Sophomore out of Sumter, South Carolina. They're on the ground. From the wing, off the front iron. And Hassett unable to grab the rebound, but it will be possession Eastern Florida. Hassett's doing it all here in the first quarter. And especially, you know, three-point shooting. Layups, getting steals, boxing out. I mean, rebounds, everything for this team. Pass it at halfway, turns it over. Press causing some problems. Cannot convert on the other end. It's been 7 11 for a while. I think I want a big gulp. Look at that. Pass it out, jumped that time. She gets in your head, and then you, you second guess your shots. Up jump span. Now she'll let it fly from long distance again off the front iron. No good. It will be Falcon basketball. You could tell so far. 155 left here in the first quarter. Both teams are still trying to figure each other out. What type of game are we going to play? Should know each other. Played twice already this season. But yes. Each game is its own season, yes. right? Its own story, its own package. about that entry ball in and drawing the foul is Alicia Spam. And they've had that so far here in the first quarter. They've gotten position down low like you want to do on offense. They just need to finish those plays if they're Daytona. Spam will go to the line to shoot two. She's a 72% free throw shooter. That's among the best on this Falcons team. First one swishes through. Breaks at 11 7, now it's 11 8. Yeah. 
All right, makes them both. Titans down four. North Again, more pressure. pressure. Got across that timeline, able to do so. Good patience shown down low by Court. Jaden Court has her first bucket. If you play basketball, you practice that every single day at practice, and that was how you break down a press. That's what we call the top gun shot, where you request permission for flyby. A minute to play here, and Chase oh. gets it to go, will shoot another. Bella Weary showing why she's the leading scorer on this team at 15 points a game. Wow. Battle, that. battle picks up the personal. You weren't sure. You're like, wait, is this a travel? No, she still had it. This is some Matrix action right here, Jeff. Because <laughs> this is like, I'm going here? <laughs> right. No, I'm going here. Neo. That was pretty. Bella, 74% free throw shooter. An active defensively with their hands. Leads the team in steals per game as well. Out of Jacksonville's DME Academy. And makes the old-fashioned three-point play. 13-12 the score. And left. Three on the way. Count it. Ezra Sen. I know it's early, but that was a big momentum shot for Eastern Florida. Sand out of Istanbul. Coming up on the 32nd mark. Titans only taking control here, now up four. It's an 8-0 run. Just a turnover again. Twenty-two point eight on this first quarter clock. Again, to break a small press here, quickly out to Kulikovska. Tries to change hand, get rid of it just in time. Redondo Cerebus has it. Ten seconds here in the quarter. Guarded by Weary, trying to put it in, and Moxie stepped in front. Down to two, got to get it off at the buzzer. It will count if it goes, but it does not. 16-12, Falcons played a really good first quarter, but they trail by four here as the Titans' last couple of minutes started turning up the wick. You were telling me, you know, this is the third matchup of the season by these two teams. Eastern Florida won the first two. My point is, if you're Daytona, what did we do well? What did we not do well in those first two matchups? Then let's make adjustments. It looks like even though they're losing after one quarter by four points on the road against one of the best teams here in the state of Florida, things are starting to look a little better. It looks like the adjustments they're making is working. The key for Daytona, they got about four or five turnovers on offense. They've got to, they've got to clean those up moving forward. But you know what? Right now, if you look at this game, looks like we got a ball game tonight. Titans uh, running away in the standings and hiding from everybody in the conference. 17-0, again, uh, number six in the country. Hillsboro in second, 11-6, and six, followed by Florida Southwestern, 9-7, and seven, Indian River, 9-8, and eight, and then this Daytona State team. Uh, much better than the record indicates at 8-9 and nine in league play, but that's where we're at. Titans have three after tonight. First of three at home here, in fact. I'll have Miami-Dade Hills and Hillsboro to follow before finishing on the road at St. Pete. Then that state tournament coming your way as March Madness gets moving. So we're talking adjustments for Daytona. What does Eastern Florida bring to the table here in the second quarter? Haven't shot a lot of outside shots. We'll see what they try to do here. Second quarter begins. Titans basketball, Ashley Battle. On the wing, letting it fly. Court in and out. Moxie got a hand to it. Help corral that rebound. Brown will get credit for it. And the fly from long distance, an air ball. Hassett can't keep her hands on it. Will stay with Daytona State. Offense. It's a foul. Trying to create a little space. A little too much. Foul, 
Daytona didn't agree with that call. Battle. Pass it. Top of the key, giving it up to Shen. On the left hand, back to Hassett. Top key, three on the way, off the mark. One and done. You're limiting the Titans' chances if you can get the rebound after a miss. Well, you were saying, hey, Hassett shoots 42% from three, but she's also your best rebounder on offense and defense. Correct, good point. No good, Shen the rebound. A lot of one and dones here. Battle. Trying to take it all the way. No, the give up. Just inside the top of the key is Chi Quimba. Got four points now. Yeah, I like both her buckets so far tonight. It's been a big help. Averaging four and a half, so almost with the average. Got the start tonight. Oh. A little check in on Moxie. Showing her Moxie the low post. Drawing a foul. See if you're Hassett down low, that like you said, that's gonna be the battle tonight. You gotta make sure you're you're smart moving forward because the, they're gonna call yeah, they're that. They're gonna try to get you off the floor, yep. Wow, another one. On uh, span. Man. That's two quick team fouls. Sorry, Nia Brown, 12, not 21. On offense. Titans by six in the basketball here. Just underway in the second quarter. Yeah, Eastern Florida's not going on a run yet so far in this game. Let's see what they can do here over the next two minutes or so. Yeah, we saw in that game 10 days ago in St. Pete. Boy, that was <laughs> as easy as it comes for Hassett. Freight train coming at you. Get out of the way. It's a hectic pace to this game. Oh, see, may pick up the foul there. Yeah, see, this is not good. That's two quick fouls on Hassett. She'll have to sit. Kolakasi uh, comes off the bench. Take a look here. Look at this. Not today. <laughs> Trying I mean, to draw the foul. Hey, it's a mismatch. You capitalize on it. That's right. what you're supposed to do. He was weary with three points thus far. Trying to hit a couple from the line. Able to make the first. But a key point to this game, has just picked up her second foul in two possessions. I mean, all right, if you're Daytona, what are you going to do about it? There's a turnover. Turns it over. What? Oh, finally getting that to go is Bella Weary. The reps must have said she, she got blocked on the first attempt. Kulikoska. Another turnover here. Titans leading by just five. Great D. Good back line defense. Here's a long touchdown pass. Kulikovska cannot quite corral that one. A lot of running here. A lot of back and forth. I know that won't show up in the stat sheet, but that was great transition defense by Eastern Florida because that should have been an easy bucket for Daytona. Just inside, does not go. Oi! Getting it up and down between three defenders. Doing a number, Elisa Span. Hey, keep it up. She's keep got it four. Yeah. Keep attacking the rim. Hassett's on the bench. Go for it. It's like the bar is now open, you know, down low without. Good give. You make it count. Right down Broadway, up and good for Eastern Florida's Azari Adams, her first bucket. Nice. Adams had the confidence to go to the rim. I like it. 22-17. Back on the floor, Harris over to Bradshaw. Trying to force that in to span, didn't work. 
And oh, travel picked up the foot. That was very physical on that possession, and then they go with the travel. A frenetic pace to this one. Whoops. And turned over. Battle off her foot. You summed up the first half with one word. Whoops, because there's been a lot of turnover so far. I, I think that word's going to come up in your interview at halftime with Coach MJ Baker. Yes, it is. The question is, will it be you that asks, or will she come out with it first? I don't think I'm going to have to ask any questions. <laughs> <laughs> just here's just the, mic, the mic. Go for it. <laughs> Those are the best interviews, yeah? And you just let people go? And you just listen? Here's Battle. Under six to play. Boy, nicely corralled by Shen. Can't get the shot to go from distance. Stewart has it for Daytona State. They trail by five. We're going to quickly down low. Fast hands, good turnaround shot. Span now has six. The question is, how long do you keep Hassett on the bench with the two fouls? I say till halftime. Well, depends. If it gets really tight, then it changes. But that's three right now. I think if you're MJ Baker, you want to see what you got. Who can, how, how do you have a, what kind of reaction do you see here? Well, you can see with that call, I feel like the refs are, all right, now we're even on the two offensive calls here. Right. All right, let's 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 keep this clean now moving forward. Redondo Cerebus will check in at the next dead ball. And uh, we'll reach in. It's interesting, first quarter, very clean. We're going up and down the court, and, and the look on MJ's face says it all, like, what is going on here? So many fouls on both ends. Kenzie Otten picks up the personal. And cheaply given away. So the way to Redonda Cerebus. Five minutes to play here in the opening half. Adams, how about the feed? Kick out. Off the front iron, no good. Big rebound for Redondo Cerebus. In the lane, Adams can't get it to go. Trying to get a third bite at the apple, able to do so. Adams, no! Had three shots on this possession, and now the pins come tumbling down. Fantastic hustle by Eastern Florida, by the way. Okay, all right. I know they didn't Time score, out. but they showed heart on that, on that offensive possession. Hey, we're gonna just keep scratching and clawing and try to score. Here's how you look at this game. If you were just bombing in watching this, 22-19. Hassett has two fouls, she's on the bench. She hasn't been on the court for two minutes. If you're Daytona, why don't we have the lead? What is going on here? We, we're, not, we're not capitalizing on offense. That's what you gotta be saying right now if you're Daytona. 16-12 at the end of the first quarter. The Titans trailed most of that first quarter, came on strong late. And it's been kind of a stalemate here in the second quarter thus far. So glad to have you along. First of two basketball matchups here on WBFS this evening. The men will follow one and two in the state in that game. But right here we have the sixth best team in all the land in Eastern Florida State in a bit of a tussle with the rivals from right up I-95. Well, if you've been watching college basketball at any level, uh, no one is safe on any given night. No. I can't stress. It, we see this all the time. Like, oh, we saw this ups upset. I'm like, really? Are you sure? If yeah, every I... night we get an upset. So like Kansas and Texas Tech last week, right? Kansas is ranked six and they were underdogs. I guess it's crazy. And they lost, but so I guess the, the line setters were correct. Daytona State has those Kansas-style numerals on their jerseys. The stick to it of this nice. there, getting that shot off. Kaisha Stewart putting it on the floor and getting a chance to go to the line and get some points. Haven't had the lead since what? It was like 7-5 early in the first quarter. Right. This has been a grinder-type game. Stewart 
originally out of Ithaca, New York, but started at Tampa Catholic High School on the west coast of Florida. One of our women's basketball powerhouse. Stewart, a 62% free throw shooter, makes one of two. But they get the put back. Uh, Zoe Tennell, I think. We are it tied, was. buddy. We are tied. 22 all. Deuces are wild across the board. Second quarter, 22 22. Shen, eight to shoot. Here's Reef, help her out. Reef get the score in this one. How about just willing it to go, Chequemba? Two more, gives her six on the game. And the Titans back in front. That was big, they needed a shot, someone stepped up finally. Again. Walking with the basketball there. So they're calling it tight, the referees tonight. Look at this. Old Bozo bucket action yeah, right there. Take a little trip in the paint. A little Sherwin Williams. Going with the press again, Jeff. And you wonder how that's going to affect him in quarter three and four. Nope. Air ball from Lawton. And by the way, I know. No current student has any idea who Bozo Buckets are, all right? I understand the reference. <laughs> I get it. Well, you made the reference. I you understand <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, two-point game right now. Let's see what oh, Daytona's yeah, yeah, yeah. got. <laughs> Coming up on the three-minute mark. Is weary loses the handle somehow comes away with it. Look what I found, and then given right away. Tron Griffin. No, oh, he is not happy. You know he's thinking. Look, all right, two point game against one of the best teams yeah, in the country. Take Certainly take that. Ah. Just, just got to be cleaner with the basketball right now. Foul committed by Weary. That's your leading score. You don't want to get her in foul trouble. It's her second, and she'll have to take a seat. Hey, and I think you're right. I, I think has to, we're going to keep her for the second half. I don't think she's coming off that bench here. And I think MJ Baker and her coach staff is telling her players, all right, figure it out with three minutes to go here in the first right. half. You want your, your kids to be problem solvers. Oh, how about that? That solves it. Solve for X. Nice. The inbound, the finish, the pace of that finish. Take a look here, Mark. Yeah, keep it coming. So what you got, eight points now here in the game. Keep it coming. This has been big so far here in the first Webb's half. has got eight in the absolute dime court. Two and a half to go. Reef. Shen. Three on the way. Rattles in and out for court. That could have been a big difference maker here in the first half. Uh, great pace to this game if you're a basketball fan. Down low. Kick out. That one can't get home. Team fouls five to four now. Titans inbounding. Again, running numbers for Tron Griffin to keep this frenetic pace up defensively. They get it across the timeline. Down low, waiting for it. Chiquemba has 10. Remember, she averages four and a half. Her season high this year is 12 against Miami Dade, two away from that. So you need somebody to step up with Hassett off the floor. She's been the answer. This is 
is Naisa Na Na James. And the shot does not go from Brown. And now Brown. Able to get it to court. That's where you got to keep your mouth, go your mouth going, be vocal. Shen for three. Not that time. Look at this. Oh, Rodondo Cerebes. Great effort defensively. 15 to shoot. Make this one a good one. As we're getting a timeout. Time yeah. I'm going to check Rodondo Cerebes there after that effort defensively. Titans have a six point advantage, just a shade over a minute to play in this opening half, Mark Moses. You know, we talk about Hassett being out with two fouls. She's the best player in this team. I mean, I, one of the best players in the state and in the country. I can't give her enough accolades there. But she's in foul trouble, she's on the bench. Who is going to step up for this team? And you look at Andrea, I mean, what, 10 points so far here in the first half? She's been phenomenal. They needed it, someone steps up so far, and she's called it. General Studies major, and season high 12, so two away from that. Daytona State coming in, they won five of their first six games this season. And alternated wins and losses since dropping an 88-84 decision against Hillsborough on the 23rd of January. Just trying to get a consistent run out of them, now under a minute to play. Titans by six, the basketball Redondo Cerebes. The kick out, 17 footer does not go. Rebound for the Falcons, Nia Brown. Bradshaw. Switches to her right hand, works it down low, turned over. Those are racking up for both teams here in this first half. Reef. Redondo Cerebes in her right hand. Another kick out, Lynn Reef. About a eight second difference between the shot and the game clock. Not gonna matter there. Court's first three of this game. It extends the lead out to 31-22, 11 to play. Down low to Moxie, no, but draws the foul. With 4.9 to go here in this half and down nine. And the to one. Couple of defensive substitute or offensive substitutions to come in after this. So you got Battle and Adams, two really good ball handlers, will come in for this final 4.9. Moxie, 65% for the line this year. This is the first. Both. Clock begins immediately, turn back over. Down to, boy, right as the shot clock goes. I was screened a bit there. I think Bradshaw got the bucket. Doesn't matter, does cut it to seven. 31 24 here at the break. So the turnover is maybe a story here, as this is a little closer. Then Coach MJ Baker would like some things to think about going forward in this second half as crowd continues to build for the second half of this game and then the second half of our doubleheader afterwards. Everybody looking on with great interest. 31 24. Head coach MJ Baker is with our Mark Moses to talk about that first half. Coach, seven point lead at half. What have you seen so far? I mean, we're battling. Both teams are bringing everything they have, and it's a battle. We got in a little foul trouble, so our point guard and our, one of our best players, Amelia, has been in foul trouble sitting most of the second quarter. So the good thing is the third quarter will be in good shape. Good luck in the second half, Coach. Thank you. Thanks for watching, y'all. We thank you for watching wherever you happen to be, whether you're here on the Space Coast. Glad you're out with us on WEFS. One half down, another half to go. We'll start that third quarter in about 15 minutes. 31-24, Titans in the lead here at the Titan Fieldhouse.
it's it's not just a club. It it could be a second home for you. You know, you can treat it as a club and it can still be beneficial to you, but you'll get so much more if you just treat it as a home and a, just a tight knit group. Like these can be your extended brothers and sisters, these can be your extended, you know, uncles as Miss Uncle Mike is quick to say, Mr. Cador is quick to say, he's always Uncle Mike, and he's always calling you nephew. <laughs> he's always saying you that's your cousin, stuff like that. So it's like he's, with that mentality, he's trying to make this a family thing because that's what it is. That's that's the initial goal. Is for you to feel like you have extended family that you can reach out to, and you know, whatever you need help with on your path of life. asthmatic myself and have breathing problems and had to suffer through being a child and through adulthood and you know it's well maintained myself through my pulmonologists and being able to help other people breathe easier and to recognize signs and symptoms and be able to teach them beyond what a pulmonologist can because we're more trained in you know they have a broader spectrum of what they cover where we're more narrow focused on it it allows me to actually take care of myself better and to be able to instruct my patients to manage their asthmatic problems as well. If somebody was asking me about Eastern Florida Respiratory Care Program, I would highly recommend it. It's a great, great program. I came out of the automotive racing industry and had no experience whatsoever in the medical field. And the program with the support courses leading in gave me all the tools and necessary skills to become a good respiratory therapist in the field. I would highly recommend it. We can't emphasize enough, as soon as a student gets confused, and it could be a very small piece of the content that they just missed, um, as soon as they understand they're confused, if they could come in, the tutor can turn that around quickly and get them back on track. Usually the results they'll get in the class are increased the earlier they come in the semester. So I encourage people right from the start of the semester to come in and use the lab. That's why we're here. Uh, we can explain it to you, you know, right after class compared to um, you cramming for yourself right before tests. And I mean, while we can help with that a little, it's not as successful as the students that come in regularly. Even just the first week, even if you don't have anything to do the first week, just come in, see that we're here, and we can even help you get started on some of your first essays or first assignments. As far as I know, we are the only technical welding program in Brevard County. On the one-year degree, you end up taking multiple AWS certifications, and we hold you to those standards. So by the time you graduate, go to work for somebody, you've already passed that test. Brevard County has a lot of industry in the welding trade. We have Space Center, we have a lot of companies around here that support the Space Center. It starts working out, the companies will start looking back at the school and say, hey, yeah, I like what they're producing, he's helping me out, and then they start calling more and more and make one heck of a program at this school where everybody wants to come here and we want to put them to work. You know, my goal always is, you know, try to be the best at whatever you do. Basically, if you're joining the Eastern Florida, just become part of the Cyber Titans, even if you're not going for a cybersecurity degree. Um, the nuns in that club um, applies to any tech degree, not just cybersecurity. So the thing that really was a turning point for me in this field actually was the club itself. The club gave me an opportunity to really explore and also gain confidence in myself that I didn't have before. But yeah, uh, being the president for the cybersecurity club, it definitely like led me into being in a more of a leadership role position. Um, a lot of the employers, especially for students, they want to see that you're interact. They want to see you in like competitions and stuff because they really do look into those things. Back at the Titan Fieldhouse, Titans of Eastern Florida State College in front by 731-24. 
here uh, against Daytona State College. So glad to have you along wherever you happen to be. Jeff Radcliffe alongside Mark Moses. Well, we uh, coach talked a little bit about the foul trouble. Amelia Hassett is who she was referring to. Uh, had to go to the bench, what, about four or five minutes to go. Sat out the rest, but leading the way with uh, 10 points. But we do have players picking up the slack. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And you look at Andrew, what, uh, 10 points so far? Her average is four points on the season. That has been huge, but you called it. You said it. Mm -hmm. Right there, about the five-minute mark, you said, hey. Don't put her back in. Don't yeah. put her back in. Let's see what the rest of the team can do. And they really stepped up. Now, look, it's only a seven-point lead right now, but I think the biggest stat, and we have the official stats. You hear that? I like it. We have <laughs> 15, 15 turnovers by Daytona. That's the difference in this ballgame so far, Jeff. Right, and points off of those turnovers, uh, certainly uh, a consideration. Um, yeah, I just I was able to see it. Now I don't. But they, there was a lot of them. 50, I believe it was like 15 points off of those turnovers. So yeah, it, that's going to be a, a point of emph uh, emphasis for Tron Griffin. Yeah, and if you're Eastern Florida, I don't think you've shot well. I, I, I don't think you, your three-point shooting's not been there. I, I don't think this has been a good first half. And you still have the lead. That's what you got to be positive about this. Right. So you need people to step up. So first of all, we talk about Ashley uh, uh, Amelia Hassett, uh, 11 total points. This was nice. Going with a three-point shot, Jeff. And then, uh, I love the extra pass. That's teamwork right there, and she finishes it for the and one. And then the defense as well. Look, she was, she was the best player on the court. And then in that second quarter, picked up two quick fouls, and she didn't play most of the second, yeah, second only, quarter. Only eight minutes. Look at it. I love this as well. That's and on the highlight she reel. She picked up her foul just after that. Then, Andrea Shikwemba, 10 points to pick up that slack. You're looking for people off the bench when you're in these situations, when you're in the state tournament, in the national tournament, she could be the answer. Yeah, and this is just confidence boost for your bench. Put them in situations where they need to help this basketball team, and she did. Now look, this game ain't over, buddy. Is it, we got a whole second half coming up, and it's anyone's ball game. The Falcons uh, spreading it out. Bella Weary with six. Uh, Alicia Spann with six. Again, they, they want to deal with that turnover. Also kind of getting out, out. Actually, rebounds even at 16. So, but the, the energy that they are expending would be a concern. Um, but it's kept them in the game thus far. We see what happens here as we go to the second half. We'll be right back with that third quarter right after this on WEFS with the Titans by seven. You get into this service because you want to help people and you want to do those things. You want to help your community. And this is where I was raised. These are my people. And so it was just a natural instinct to pick Eastern Florida. Anywhere you go, you're always with somebody. You always need backup. You always need help. Not one of us can do it by ourselves. We're only as strong as our weakest link. That's how we train out here. Right now, there's 13 of us and we train as 13. And without that 13th person, we're no longer a team. In my life, always working out, uh, it's something that I love to do anyway, so I like to stay in shape, but it's definitely a necessity being out here on the fire grounds, and you think about it in a sense, you want someone who's gonna come in when your life is online or anybody else's life matters, it's important to stay healthy and stay strong. Uh, we have more than 20 instructors per class that we are have the ability to use. The people teaching us are the ones doing it, have their hands on it every day. I'd highly recommend uh, Eastern Florida and the Fire Academy here. Are you looking for a career in a medical field that is in demand, always evolving, and makes a real difference in people's lives? Diagnostic medical sonography is a dynamic professional field with high earning and growth potential. A diagnostic medical sonographer is a highly skilled professional who uses specialized equipment to create images of structures inside the human body that are used by physicians to make a medical diagnosis. Eastern Florida State's Diagnostic Medical Sonography Associate of Science degree program lays the foundation for entry into this field with additional opportunities to continue your education with specializations in vascular sonography, adult cardiac sonography, and other areas based on students' interests. Students can even earn their Applied Health Science Bachelor of Science degree with a medical imaging specialization. The Associate of Science General Concentration Track 
is a full-time, five-semester program accredited by the Commission on Accreditations of Allied Health Education Programs. The coursework includes detailed classes in anatomy, physiology, pathology, physics, instrumentation, and scanning techniques. In addition, students apply sonography skills learned in labs and classes to clinical settings with externships in hospitals throughout Brevard County. To see a detailed breakdown of the application process, prerequisites, coursework for each semester, as well as information on job placement and potential salary for medical sonographers, visit our website at easternflorida.edu slash go slash sonography. Here's what some of our students had to say about our program. The Eastern Florida State College sonography curriculum is very comprehensive, so although it's classified as a general sonography program, there was a heavy focus on OBGYN. So we had two consecutive semesters of obstetric coursework and coupled with clinical experience at clinical rotations, I really felt like I got a good background of obstetrical sonography prior to entering the workforce. Eastern Florida State College has definitely taught me to be consistent, to be professional, uh, to be very knowledgeable. Um, I think the professionalism is what stands out the most to me. Now that I'm in the work field, I can really see that the professional environment at school has carried on into a professional um, character and attitude out in the work field. I would absolutely recommend the program. I have found a lot, of, a lot of success through going through the program and as well as a lot of other people that I know. If working in this exciting field of medicine is something you want to check out, then follow through and visit our website, easternflorida.edu slash go slash sonography. Build a successful career with a bachelor's degree from Eastern Florida State College. You can choose from nearly 25 tracks in today's top job fields of business, healthcare, and computer technologies, with classes tailored to meet your needs on campus and online. A bright future awaits you with a bachelor's degree from Eastern Florida State College. To learn more, visit easternflorida.edu slash go slash bachelors. We're back here at the uh, Titan Fieldhouse. Hard to pick a winner tonight, right? No, Titans in the lead, 31-24 at the half as we get set for the third quarter. Eastern Florida are trying to run that record up to 23-3 and and go to 18-0 in Citrus Conference play. But Mark, Daytona State had their moments in that first half, putting on a little bit of pressure. Uh, in the end, they kind of succumbed and didn't take advantage of one of the top players in the country not being on the floor. And like we talked at halftime with the 15 turnovers, that's been the key stat of this game so far for Daytona. They got to cut those down if they want a shot in this game. Remember, it was 22 all off, off a, what was it, a free throw miss, and then they got the tip in. Yes. 22 all. Then all of a sudden, you look at the run to end the half by Eastern Florida. That's been the difference. And you can see this so far where Hassett is back in the game to start here in the third quarter. You know she wants to play smarter basketball here right. in the third. Best run for Eastern Florida was nine. Best run for Daytona State, five. We switch sides, Titans with the basketball. And scored 10 points off of 15 turnovers in that first half. Ooh. And letting it fly. I'm gonna sign if you're Daytona State. Galvez Naro on the scorebook now with a three. She had a big smile on her face because that was a big bucket. By the way, coming in 50% shooter from beyond the arc. She doesn't shoot them often, but when she does, they're good. Uh, maybe she should shoot some more then, Jeff. That one won't go. Hassett pulls the rebound and then the reach in on Bradshaw. Yeah, Bradshaw thought she got it clean. Refs say otherwise. Titans by 10. Chiquemba 
Got 10 points in that first half. Pass it. Thinks about it. Chiquemba the rebound. We'll run it back out. Baseline. Nope. That one's cut off, head off the pass. Eight to shoot, and the ball turned over a little too cute here. Yeah, some confusion on who was supposed to get that pass. Bradshaw brings it up. I believe largest lead of the night now. Bradshaw. Mentioned out of Masters Academy, that one forced. Oh, see a steal you'll have. Just take it right out of the air. Coast to coast, it goes up and down for Galvez Naro. She's got all the points in the second half thus far for Eastern Florida. And they've needed it, 5-0 run. Okay, mark that run down. 5-0 is where we're at. The Falcons put a stop to it. This, is, this Eastern Florida can go on big ones. Talking 12 and 13, 14 points. That's an air ball. Loose ball corralled. Sometimes those missed balls are your best friend as far as rebounding. Push off and one. No. It's going to be an offensive oh. foul. And the eye roll could be seen from our distance. That, that it was like the eye roll emoji. It was very deflating because that could have been, that could have been an and one for Daytona, they needed that, especially when you're down double digits. But yeah, you can see the push off. Your defender's feet set. Chiquemba with the basketball, hands it off. Galvez Naro, why not? Pass it, the rebound, kicking it back to Galvez Naro. Pass it on Moxie. And Moxie takes it away that time. Got the better of her that time. You weren't sure if they were going to call it or not. Delayed call by the refs, but they're going to take it on Eastern Florida. Rodano Cerebes picks up the personal. Watch this. Just yeah. stands her ground. Now she'll take a seat. And that brings in the, the other twin tower, Alicia Spann. 6'3". The wing three swishes through for Bradshaw. Has five points. Sometimes shooting is contagious. Who's ball? Oh, they're going to call it. Giving it to Daytona, Jeff. Six twenty-seven, seven play here in the third. Bradshaw has been active. Stepped out of bounds. Mm. We talked about those fifteen turn first half turnovers. We've had a couple of them here. It's like right when you get momentum. I know. Right, right when you feel like you're back into it, and then you have another turnover. Yeah. Long pass, Shen. Titans will get in the set. On the baseline. Giving up to Hassett. Baseline J clanks home. She's got 13. True as you like. All fundamentals on that jumper. She knew what to do with the basketball. Referees have shown they're going to call that. Right. They're they're not going to let you play that physical. Bradshaw hands it off. Skip pass on the ground. Brown. Back to Bradshaw. Again. Shen picks up the personal. Coach Baker's talking from the sideline. She's not happy with those last two calls. She knows her team's got to play better and smarter on defense. 
span. Pull up, Jay. A little too flat, but you got number 12 in there. Brown gets it to go. Naya's got four. Out of Orange Park High. Pass it. Right down Broadway, then gives it up. That's her spot. Money. Same shot, Jeff. Right. Four points this half. Now at 15. She's almost at that season average. <laughs> Two Titans come with the rebound. Shaquemba the last to touch. And Corral, Shen on the move. Go all the way. Boy, you got a great rebounder underneath. Chalk it up. Three straight buckets for Hassett. And they're easy buckets as yeah, well. It's, it's, it's clean up on aisle 32. Bradshaw, the three. Missed it that time. One and done. Rebound controlled by Eastern Florida. Long ball oh. and turned over. Galvez Nara thought she had it. And drawing the foul. Redondo Cerebus will be the guilty party on that one. And now brings the timeout on the floor with the Titans up 42-29, a 13-point advantage here for Eastern Florida as they look to extend this win streak of uh, 21 games going on right now. It was tied at 22 there in the second quarter. I, by half, what was it, seven? Largest lead of the night right now, 42-29, like you're saying. You gotta be happy for you, Sir Florida, where you got your star back on the court and she's cleaning up here in the third quarter. Would you say 15 overall in the game? And yeah, right. she's just been great so far. Take a look here. She's doing what she does. Uh, and great ball movement, by the way. And you can see the great ones, they somehow find ways to separate and get open. Yeah, Hassett likes that little spot on the floor. I'm gonna go, which which you have three buckets here in the second half? Three. Yeah, so I'm gonna go what? With 17 then. Yep, 17 points. Trying to drum up another win here, the Titans, on a Wednesday night. First half of our doubleheader. Eastern Florida beat Daytona State twice already this season. They won 83-57 uh, back on the 20th of January, and then the first meeting in December was 90-66. to So both very decisive victories. And Daytona State hanging in yes. quite well in this one, here on the road as well. Just don't want to let it get away from you. Got to keep within contact, pull some sort of an upset. And you got to make your free throws. Unable to do so that time. What well, we said in the, in the pregame where Daytona has three players who can score in double figures for the season, but right now they only got 29 points halfway through the third. Johnson misses both, but they get the turnover. Johnson will try to make amends and will shoot another. Hoop the harm. That ball was so low to the ground when she shot it, and it went up, and she got the friendly roll to go in. What do you do when you miss two free throws? <laughs> you go get another, get another yeah. crack at it. Make the three-point play here. 66% on the season. Another one. Going south, another big rebound, and then rejected. Titans basketball. Went into the trees. Are you sure, are you sure? Shouldn't that be Daytona basketball? I know Coach is, di he's disputing that with the refs right now. Yeah, it should be Daytona ball. Look at you. I, well, it was blocked. Check out the basketball mind on, on Mark. <laughs> knows that, he knows it. The ball was blocked out of bounds. Right. Cleanly. Good job. You know, they're short on referees. And a little, little side hustle there, Mark. You know the rules. Daytona can't capitalize, though. Yeah, the free throw shooting has hurt them. Titans will slow it down. And look, it's it's the fundamentals. Hit your free throws, don't turn the ball over. Zaria Adams pulls it up, pass it, thought about the three, pulls it up, comes inside a few feet, can't make the shot. 
the rebound by Span. Spin, scoop shot, does not go. Span the rebound initially, but coming out of there is Ashley Battle. Ahead, Adams lays it up, down, and one. Big time play by Eastern Florida. You, she knew she knew she was going to get the contact. She braced herself. Com it, gr just great play. Ooh. Can't stress that enough. And got the money's worth on the foul. Adams to the line. 74% free throw shooter to complete the old fashioned three point play out of Palm Beach Central High School. One of those first players off the bench this year for MJ Baker. Makes it count. Saria is now at five points. 14 point lead now for East Florida. Johnson, baseline drive, and how about that from Hassett, just using that baseline as the extra defender to pinch her out. And Tentinel had nowhere to go. Spatial and court awareness. And Milia will do the, the handling here. She was waiting for someone to guard her, no one was there. I'll find Jaquemba here. Get her her season high. Nope. Adams up. Got seven. Three minutes to play in the third. Titans up 47-31. It's starting to put some distance here. We talked at halftime, you know, who could step up? Who could make plays? This is someone who wants to step up and make a play, and she did. Getting a little separation. 16 point advantage. And the first quarter that was really nip tuck. Lost the handle. Can't get the shot to fall, but we'll go to the line with Bella Weary. Eastern Florida's up 16 points. You know, they've won 21 in a row. But if you're this lady right here, Coach Baker, there's plenty on film that you're going to show your players after this game that we need to clean up moving forward. Uh, there's no such thing as perfection, right? You can still. Excellence is achievable. There's always something you can get better just by watching the tape. Look, it's one thing, all right, our three-point shooting's not falling tonight. It's another, hey, we're not passing the ball correctly, or we're having problems break the full court press. Weary makes them both, by the way. Coming up on two and a half. And another turnover. Taking it coast to coast, up off the glass, and good Weary is starting to heat up. She's at 10 points now. The press causing some problems. Has it, getting it away. Kulikovska, Adams, can't get it to fall. Short, it was a good shot, just didn't finish. Look, 4 0 run here. Can they make it six? Inside to Moxie, push down. Little step back three. No, has it the rebound. Gonna head Adams, gotta hold it. Long pass to the corner, has it on the wing, passes up the three. Boy, trying to force it in on court. It's okay, take your time on this possession. There's no hurry. Now you probably want to slow it down just a little. What do we got? Oh, check. Push. With eight on the shot clock. Man, Daytona's bench, they are ready to erupt. They want to get this under 10 going into the fourth quarter. They're ready. Checking back in for Moxie. And to has it. Battle's got it. 90 seconds to play here in the third. 
Down to Kulikovska. Scoreless thus far, Kulikovska. Shot clock at four. And bailed out by a foul again. Coach Griffin's not happy. He is Boy, not you don't happy. Get that with three on the shot clock. That's tough. That's Absolutely tough. Right. He is not happy right now. And you send Court to the line, already on five points. 81% free throw shooter. And and this thing, if you're Daytona, you know, all right, you're down 12, but you've been competitive so far. You cannot let this Eastern Florida team that's won 21 in a row go on one final run in this game. Jaden Quartz, Providence, Arkansas, makes them both. Sophomore will be headed to Coastal Carolina to be a Chanticleer next year, so I hear. I, I like the rhyme. Okay, good. Not quite a rap, but a rhyme. It's very Dr. Seuss of you. <laughs> I wish it could be Dr. Dre, but no. Dr. Seuss, I'll take. What do we got here? Yeah, it's going to be on Kulikovska. Titans in front, 49-35. She's been quiet tonight. I know she averaged about nine points per Christiana, game. yep. Yeah. She's, she's got nil. Barrow soccer turn. Span. Makes the first. Perfect from the line tonight, three for three. Makes them both a native of the Palmetto State. Double figures nine times. She's at eight now. Here comes the press. Battles in there. Court puts it on the floor. Got to hurry here. You're running yeah. out of time. You got one second to get across, able to do so. 54 to play, and there you go, Ezra Shen. Got five points. Thought about the three, passed it up. In the lane, crazy shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Reef. Lynn gives it up, here's Battle. 35 seconds left in the quarter. Reith gets her first bucket there, amazingly, the Melbourne Holy Trinity product. And timeout on the floor. 29 and a half seconds to play in the third. 53-37 Titans. Man, they've gone on a run here in the last two minutes or so, and they've really made some statement buckets here on the Space Coast. Like you said, 22-22 was a tie there in the second quarter. It's been Eastern Florida ever since, and <sighs> That, that was nice. I mean, last couple of buckets for Eastern Florida. And we're yeah. going to the replay here. Efficiency. Ooh, I, I like it. That was smooth going to the rim. And then this one, this is more, hey, fundamentals, I'm going to hit that from top of the key. I'll take it all day. And MJ Baker again now in her seventh season, native of Delaware, Ohio. Really racking up the wins here. Region 8 Coach of the Year a couple times. Played at the University of West Florida. Also Bluefield College before that. Played professionally in Germany. And now is passing all that wisdom on to these players for Eastern Florida. A lot of them are moving up to the Division I ranks a year from now. Kulikoska to Bowling Green. Mentioned court going to Coastal Carolina and Hassett up to Virginia Tech. That's a mark of the program. You win games and you move those players to that next level. And if you look at tonight's game, I actually like this. I think Eastern Florida has been pressured most of the night and there's a lot of stuff they need to work on. This is a good smack in the face to get you ready for postseason play. Foul line jumper in and out. Got a tough rim this half. Trying to handle this pressure. This is good, good experience for the Titans going forward when they get in these teams that will do this to them. Working around the clock, one and done. One second to go, and time expires here in the third quarter. But a good third quarter it was. Titans in control, 53-37. Yeah, you look at the stats. All right, first quarter you scored 16, second 15. You had 31 at the half, now you got 53 points. That was a, a great third quarter. And I'll tell you, that's really the success 
of Eastern Florida, especially this women's program from the standpoint they come out from halftime, they make adjustments, and then they start playing better basketball. Titans led by seven at the half, 16 now. An investment in, East, uh, investment in Eastern Florida State College is an investment in higher education, the foundation for the nation's political and economic success. Communities that support higher education flourish, and every dollar that you invest in Eastern Florida State College is a dollar invested in our community. Contact the Eastern Florida State Co College Foundation and Alumni Association at 321-433-7055 and learn how you can support Eastern Florida. Programming reminder, we'll take a little break. We do have a, a, a in-between games interview with one Shelby Pettick, softball coach that season. Yeah, they're set here for the Titans. Yeah, you look at softball, 15 and one. They start conference play next week. Uh, they have been red hot. Yeah, so conference plays where it gets real. <laughs> it's a good conference. Apparently she's got a prediction to make, right? It's on her. Shen, wild to the basket, can't convert. Wide open basketball here as we start the fourth quarter. It, this fourth quarter, hey, let's play clean basketball. Just work the clock. Keep doing your thing. Get the win if you're using right. Florida. Be weary. 74% free throw shooter. She is four of five from the line. Make it five of six. Eleven points for Bella. Make it 12. She is now three away from her season average. Leads the team at 15. Jake Fork begins the possession now. It's on the hands of Battle. Skips through the lane, puts it up. Pass it, the rebound denied. Actually gets fouled by Moxie. Boy, the, just a quick release here from Hassett. If it doesn't score, it draws a foul. She finds the basketball, off, off misses. That's what makes her so special. It's a gift. She just knows where to be. And look, it does take practice to get good at it, but she just has those instincts to go get those rebounds. Very uncharacteristic one of three from the line tonight. That one to go. And coming into this matchup, had made 31 of her last 32 free throws. She hits 84% for the season. She can afford a miss here or there, of course, but there we go. That's a little more true to form. 55-39. Pass it. Denies the entry pass. 16 shoot. Oh. Ball handling stays with the Falcons. You know, just going over the schedule, Eastern Florida, uh, big lead tonight, but let's see, they got, what is it, Miami, Dade, Hillsboro, and then they're at St. Pete. We're almost at the finish line here, buddy. Right, Hillsboro will be the tough one. They're currently in second place, 11 and six. <laughs> second place, six losses in the, I, in the loss column, zero for Eastern Florida. I mean, this was wrapped up a while ago. But it's not gonna be an easy out. They wanna blemish that record. That game will be here on the 2nd of March. Play Miami-Dade, that's an academic win, if there ever was one. Miami-Dade's bringing up the rear. 55-39, St. Pete as we saw 10 days ago. Didn't put up much of a fight. But that's why you play the games, Mark. Well, if you're Daytona, all right, you're down 16. Can you get this under 10? Can you, can you make one more run here with eight minutes to go? There you go. Weary. So I had a good second half. Has eight points in the second half alone. It's 14 for the game. 8-12 to play here in the fourth. Pass it. 
Step back. Let go. One and done. Bringing it down is Bradshaw. Reith has it for Eastern Florida. Battle. Underneath the basket. Kick out the court. Putting it down with the left hand. Right down Broadway, Amelia Hassett. That was her easiest bucket of the night. She'll take that all day. 10 this half, 21 for the game. So she's reached the season average and eclipsed it. She didn't really play the second quarter either. Right, not much of it. Ooh, there you go. Brown down for six points now. Go ahead, quick hands, and then over the top, gets fouled by Span, and Hassett will go to the line. It's kind of like a baseball. We'll go to our closer. Just, just give her the ball. <laughs> Let's go thing. home. Right. <laughs> it's working every time. Hassett. Back at the stripe. Hells that one in. That's true. 23 points now for Amelia. You were talking about the first two meetings where Eastern Florida, you know, where they get about 90 with the average. I don't think they're going to hit that tonight, but it's still been a dominant performance here in the second half. Hassett had four rebounds at the half in what would be considered limited action. Oh, oh. Nice shot there for Bradshaw, her second three-pointer. Should be closing in on 10 now for sure. To get that double-double. Hassett had 19 double-doubles coming in. 19. That one not good for Chiquemba. The shot clock didn't hit the rim. Yep, good reset, down to seven. Got to get it up, down to two. And it is good, and she'll shoot another. Jaden Court. Love the reaction, too. Love the reaction. In the nick of time. Look at this. Understanding where you are in the court. <laughs> Threw that oh. baby up. She knew it, too. That feels good. Court 81% free throw shooter. And it's gotten away a bit here for their Citrus Conference rivals. Makes the free throw. Ten points now, double figures for Court. James. Bradshaw's been the hot hand. And a little tie up. Okay, Florida commits a foul. Weary. And it's an air ball. Six. Harassed all the way, Galvez Naro gets across the timeline. Trying to take it herself and gets rejected. Yep, a foul. Oh, they are going to call a foul yep. on that. I thought the ball hit the underneath part of the basket. I think it did, and it was a foul. Yeah, let's look at the replay on this one. Oh, yeah, she got her. Hand. Yeah, yeah. They teach you at a young age. If you don't know what to do, go to the rim. The Madrid native, 75% free throw shooter. 
Is any good Spaniard a fan of Rafael Nadal? Interested in being an air traffic controller, by the way. It's a specific career choice. Yes, it is. But you need them. They're very, very necessary. 63-46. Like you said, we got a big men's game coming up oh. here. Yeah. Conference at stake. Titans a, a game out. They win. They are being a tie for first with Daytona. Working around the clock. Can't get it to go for Bradshaw that time, but big rebound from Weary. Seventeen point deficit here for Daytona State. Oh, one and three. Johnson. Nope. Another loose ball corralled by Daytona. They are not going to go away quietly. And committing the foul is Reef. No, 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 travel. no. Travel before it. Okay. So good D by Reef. <laughs> you know, look, with the refs tonight, they've done a good job. You're just, they're, they're different times. You're like, all right, is this going to be a foul? Is this a travel? What are we going with exactly? Right. But yeah, you're talking about men's game coming up. Oh, we'll get to, I know we're going to get to the replay here real quick. This was, yeah, the, the extra step. So it was the correct call by the refs. As Eastern Florida, I mean, they're up 63-46, 450 left here in the second half. This should be a dub. And like you said, only a couple of games left here in the regular season. Then you got to go to the state tournament moving forward. Right. So you get to see them two more times here on the home court. And they'll finish up at St. Pete. Yeah, state tournament begins the 13th of March. So they'll have a good nine days rest to get ready for that. The question in the Citrus Conference is who's going to finish second. So right now, Hillsborough going in tonight, 11 and 6. Florida Southwestern, 9 and 7. Indian River, 9 and 8. Daytona State, had they won tonight, may have a shout at it. Right, Three-way race for second. Now, second's a big deal. You make the states if you've been a second. So a lot on the line in this conference, even though it's been wrapped up academically for Eastern Florida for a bit. Court. Works it in Chiquemba. Does she have the career high? She does. 12 points. Yeah, she's been great, and especially in that second quarter, she was phenomenal for Eastern Florida. Yeah. Matches the season high, by the way, with 12. That one doesn't go. Pass it the rebound. Pushing it ahead. All alone. Stops and gets the roll. Rodondo Ceribes in the scorebook, her first bucket. And look, she's been very active tonight, off the ball, trying to help her teammates. I'm happy. Oh, here she the goes. The lead is 21 off the steal. Ceribes, no. Corrals a loose ball. Court. Finish as clean as you like. I think the legs are starting to tire. And timeout yes, called by Tron Griffin. The old college try coming up short. Well, in the second quarter, when this was close, and Hassett, best player for Eastern Florida, goes to the bench with the two fouls. That was the time for Daytona to make a run, but Eastern Florida had an answer. I mean, they're the best team in this conference. They have, you know, six, seven, eight, nine players that can step up and make plays. And I think that was the difference in this ball game. And then in the third quarter, Hassett comes back. They get back to the to just the fundamentals of let's play our game. And that's been the difference tonight. Yeah, Hassett doing what she does over her 19 and a half points a game. 22 so far tonight. Chiquemba with 12. Contributions all over the court here for MJ Baker's team. And the thing with her also is, even when she doesn't have the basketball on offense and defense, she's in the mind of the other team where you're constantly, where is she? I got to make sure I know where she is. And she just makes plays. Got 23 points for Hassett. And a 23-point lead for Eastern Florida as well. 
And turned over. Court will settle it down. Down to Hassett. Court thought about the three, puts it back on their left hand. Ooh. Up and down for two. She's been active here in the second half. 14 points for Court. You see some of the reserves pop back in here for MJ Baker in the next few. Coming up on the three minute mark here in the fourth. 71 46. Money. Big shot on the outside. Aya Brown, her first three. She has got nine. Naro. They finally broke the full court press by Daytona. Right. Ten points, double figures for Galvez Naro. 240 in the paint. Wanted the foul, did not get it. Ahead it goes. Court. And shoot another. Thank you, sir. May I have another? As a basketball player, you dream for these scenarios. Sure, I'll just keep taking layups. I'll just keep going. Hey, you're going to let me go to the lane? I'll keep taking this. This is understanding where you are, understanding the contact, and finishing. Court's really come alive here in the second half. Had five in the first. And it completes a three-point play. And she's had a couple in the second half. And look, you got, got 15. You got 76 points with two minutes to go. You really haven't shot the three today. You got to be impressed by that right. if you're MJ Baker. Especially when you got some great post play on that other side. Shaquemba, big rebound, clearing things out. Oh, pump your adrenaline. Going up in there and taking what's rightfully hers. Right to the free throw line. Okay, Chiquemba now at the line. Oy. This is the first. 68% free throw shooter. Clean as you like. 13 points, that is a season high for Andrea Chiquemba, the native of Portugal. And she's getting a big, big high fives from all of her teammates right now. She exits the game. Really picked up the slack when Hassett was out. Yes, she that did. That deserves the smile, too. And a nice drink. <laughs> 214 to go. And Zaria Adams always around some contact. She'll go to the line after she can clear the cobwebs. She get hacked hard? Yeah, she did. She'll be going to the free throw line. It's funny. You'll look at this box score once this is over, and it'll be a win for Eastern Florida. You're like, oh, well, this is a blow win. No, this was close, even in the third quarter. And then all of a sudden, all Eastern Florida. Adams makes the first. Nine points for Azaria Adams. Man. She's scored at least nine in the last four, so make that five in a row. If I'm reading the, the notes from Mike Parsons, right, who supplies all those facts and figures that make these games go round for us. 79-49, the lead is 30. Quick turn around and fouled. Committed by Caitlin Lord, who just popped in, another Australian, the freshman. Will be pressed into duty next year with the loss of Hassett. So some valuable minutes here. And 
This program's going to get 22 wins in a row. 22, man, after starting 1-3 and three on the season. 22 with three games to go in the regular season after tonight. It's an impressive feat by this program. Oh, Spanning double figures for Daytona State. She's perfect from the line tonight. 79-51. And that men's game coming up, you look at the rankings where, uh, I mean, Daytona only has one loss. And Jeremy Shulman came on my show yesterday yeah. to talk about it. Well, that must have been fun. Their only loss was it's, against Eastern Florida. Florida. And at, at their place. So you know they're going to come in with a full head of steam for some vengeance. The dish oh, yeah. best served cold. Should be intense. Up, oh, no shot. They're going to give it to her? No, it's they on the should. Floor. It's on the floor is what they say. Yeah. No, nope, they're giving it to her. Okay. So, Samari Slusarik. Sarasota. Chance to get in the scorebook here. And does so. 80 points for the team. Lead is 29. They had 31 at half. Yep. Uh, explosive second half by Eastern Florida. It's really a four-point advantage at the end of the first, and it just continued to balloon. This shows why they're one of the best teams in the country. They're going to get everybody's best shot. Oh, yeah. And you know what? The other teams are going to get Eastern Florida's best shot as well. <laughs> yeah, there's no off switch. Off the screen. Taylor Steemeyer. First look into this game for the Falcons and mop up duty under a minute to play. All right. Kenzie Auten back in. Okay, minute to go. Let's let's go home, drive safe. No more of the fouls. Auten, now that time. 45 seconds left. Turned over. And there you go, Kulikovska gets your points. Good. Not going to get shut out tonight. She's been hustling all night. I like she got on the board. Under a half minute. Ah, battling underneath was Stewart. Lord gets the foul. Or picks up the foul. Brown. Make the Kaiser Stewart will go to the line. Bangs at home. Second one. No good. One of two in both trips down. Two points. For Stewart in this game, down to the final 13 seconds. It's a 30 point advantage. Titans can just dribble this out. And that's how it will end. 82 52, game is over. Eastern Florida State College now 23 and 3. 18 and 0 in the conference and a 30 point win in conference here tonight. Wednesday evening at the Titan Field House. Come back, wrap things up with Coach Baker right after this on WEFS. I'm part of SCAP, which is the Space Coast Consortium Apprenticeship Program. What it is, it's uh, an apprenticeship program to get people in the aerospace field and get experience and schooling all at the same time. So I just graduated high school this past May and I found out about it two days after graduation. And my original plan was to go to Eastern Florida and just get a basic AA degree and figure out what I wanted to do from there. I always liked the idea of going into aerospace, but never was sure about engineering itself. So this was a great way to get my career started. Even if I choose to go back for engineering or even if I choose to change career paths, this is a two-year degree that is fully paid for by my company. And it is, 
four years of experience in the aerospace industry where I really get to get the experience in the schooling. And if I choose to continue down this path, I can. Or if I choose to further my education, go somewhere else, I can also do that. I'm Patrick Hoskin, and I'm a student at the Eastern Florida State College Welding Program. You start off with stick welding, and then progress to MIG welding, shielded metal arc welding, and they say by the end of the year we'll end up being TIG welding. So we're gonna go through almost everything that they can possibly throw at us. After the first two weeks of class, it is all hands-on. The cost is really low considering it's a full welding program. This classroom does count as one year's experience in the field. 82-52, our final score. Eastern Florida over their rivals from Daytona State College. They're now 18-0 in conference play. <laughs> and well on their way to the next portion of their season. MJ Baker is the head coach. Uh, you're always going to get the team's best shot, especially in conference play. You could say probably that first half. There was some work you had to do, but you have to be so pleased with the response your girls had tonight. Yeah, the first half was a gritty first half, and the second half we really wanted to pay attention to just executing at a higher level. We're trying to play at an elite level right now and really sharpen things up. Talk a little bit about what Amelia Hassett was able to do, some foul trouble. Yeah, Amelia was in foul trouble the first half, which <laughs> put us in a little position along with our point guard. Um, so when that happens, you're missing your point guard right. and you're starting, I mean, one of your best players inside. He does a little bit of everything. But Andrea set up huge. AD stepped up huge for us along with Jaden off the bench. So. How about Chi? Chiquemba coming in yeah. and getting her her her, her uh, season high tonight. Yeah, AD's big. We call her Andrea AD. AD. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's she's big. We've been right. waiting for her. It's just been tough because she's been playing behind Amelia going to Virginia Tech and then KK right. who's going to Bowling Green. So she's been getting minutes behind, but we've been waiting for her to come into herself, and she's getting it. Like she, the last couple games, she's really feeling confident playing in the next right. level. So it's good to see. She deserves it. Three more to play, MJ, before you go into the States. What, what is the focus here the rest of the way? I mean, honestly, we're just trying to mentally tighten things up, right. executing our scout, executing what we're trying to do on offense, being more efficient. I mean, we didn't shoot well tonight from the three-point line. I mean, we shot 19%, but luckily we shot 80% from the free throw line. We right. shot well 45% from the floor. But we're trying to just holistically just get our together especially from the neck up just because you show there's more one more than one way to win a game right you, yeah <laughs> yeah thank right. god for that right all right yes congratulations mj good thank luck the you. rest of the way thank you thank you guys titans a 30 point win tonight uh, against their rivals from daytona state we'll be back with a special interview and perhaps a prediction i don't know and then the men's game to follow women doing exactly what they do 82 52 and continuing to roll through conference play. We'll be right back. Lights, camera, action. Discover the arts at Eastern Florida.